So you might, you might resolve in the short term the penalty by blocking off the content. But essentially, that penalty will reapply if it sees that content has only been blocked in a robust text file. So make sure your no index rule is effective. Don't block the content with your robots.txt file. So if you block your content with robots.txt file, Google will not go to that content. So, it's, so essentially, if you want to block off sections of your website, block it in your robots.txt file. But if it's violating content, and if you block it in your robots.txt file, Google will not know that you're violating. So if you want to violate content, Google is saying, you know, if you want to publish file, in other words, what Google is saying is that if you want to publish violating content, yeah, go ahead and do it. Just block it in your robust text file and we'll never be able to find it. Okay. But the other reason for this, and, and there is always a second reason for this, is if you block, a, block that content out from your robot.txt file, it's not entirely hidden from Google because there may be internal links that are going to that content and there may also be external links that are linking to that content. So essentially, Google may obey the robust text file, but if it finds that content through other means, so either with an internal link or with an external link going to the to that content will mean that your penalty uh, comes back again. So you might you might resolve in the short term the penalty by blocking off the content. But essentially, that penalty will reapply if it sees that content has only been blocked in a robust text file. Subscribe to Let's Talk SEO and master the SEO game today.